Hello everyone, this is Alex from Swoosh English. So you're in the real examination, you're doing your OET reading and you've just finished part A. So that was 15 minutes, it was 20 marks, they've taken the exam paper away and now they've given you part B and part C together. How long do you spend on each section? So you've got part B, which you do first, and then part C, which you do afterwards. So the way to work this out, because you've got 45 minutes for part B and part C, 15 minutes was for part A, and you've just finished that, so it's one hour in total. So you've got 45 minutes for part B and part C. How many marks are provided? Well, for part B, you've got six marks, and for part C, you've got 16 marks. So that's 22 marks total. If you've got 45 minutes, that's roughly, that's roughly two minutes per mark. So two minutes per mark is really what I would be suggesting for you to aim for. So two minutes per mark, 22 marks, that's 44 minutes. So you get 45 minutes total. This is what I would say because I, what I don't want you to do, I don't want you to spend too long on part B where there's only six marks and you then don't have enough time for part C. Really, really important. So if you had, if you focused on part B for around about 11 to 12 minutes for you to get your six marks, it's two minutes per mark. That's what I would be telling you to do. And then you can go on to section C where you've got 16 marks and then Two, as I said before, two minutes per mark. That's roughly around about 32 minutes that you should be spending on part C, okay? So 12 minutes for part B, around about 32 minutes for part C. You can, so you can see there's a big difference in the amount of results, uh, am, um, amount of marks that you get for part C compared to B. It's roughly about two and a half times more marks that you're getting for part C as opposed to part B. So really is key to manage your time effectively because the other thing which I'll talk about in a, in a later video is you don't want to spend too long on a particular question and it's, it's driving you crazy and you're so frustrated and you stay on it for so long that your time just runs out you look at the you look at the clock and realize you only have you know, 10 minutes left to do part C. You don't want to have that scenario because a lot of people who are, perf uh, who are perfectionists, they want to get every single question 100% right in their mind before they write the answer. And that's not the way to do it. It's really, really important not to do that. So manage your time effectively. Be completely strict with yourself on how much time you spend in part, a, uh, part B and how much time you spend on part C. So that's my advice for you. In summary, two minutes per mark, 12 minutes for part B, roughly, and 32 minutes for part C, which brings you up to 44 minutes. You have that extra minute or so for proofreading, but I would say the caveat is to take into consideration is Proofreading, as I mentioned in a previous video for OET reading, you should include that in your time. So go back at the end and review the review each answer that you provided. So at the end of part B, you might quickly want to use one minute or so to proofread your answers or a little bit more than that and then move on to part C. And at the end, last two or three minutes of part C, then you might want to go again and just look through your answers. Make sure you've not made, made any mistakes. Make sure you've not circled two answers, things like that. Make sure you're 100% happy with the answers that you've provided, okay? You can put a star next to it and you know for you to go back to or a little dot just so you can highlight where you need to go back to. So this is what I would recommend for you. And I have also, well, I've taught, and if, I, the other thing I want to mention is if, you're looking for um, information on what you need to get a grade B. I've mentioned this in a previous video, but it's roughly in the low 30s. So you've got 42 marks total for part, uh, for part A, B and C reading and A, B and C listening and OET recommend in the low 30s. If you can get around about 31, 32 marks out of 42, then you would be in a very good position to get your grade B. But of course, here, we're not looking to get minimum scores. We're looking for you to get as many correct as possible. So if you can get late, uh, high 30s, low 40s, 42 out of 42, then absolutely amazing. So let's just 
focus on getting every answer as correct as we can. So thank you very much, everybody. If you've got any questions on today's video, please put them in the message box below. And if you want updated OET 2.0 materials, where um, we've got all of our 2.0 video courses, live classes, everything completely updated, and you're looking for a, a structured program that takes you all the way through from beginning to end, then go to swooshenglish.com and I would love to help you pass your OET 2.0 examination.